Pastor Steve, about a year ago or so, you taught me all about hot chocolate during Christmas time and how it just had to be perfect. I got to tell you, I've learned a lot from you. Six mini mush marshmallows. I know, I know. And you know what? I put exactly that amount in here. Perfect amount. <laughs> it's so good. I got to tell you, I'm so excited. I am just so excited. I am so ready for Christmas. Check out my, my Christmas clothes. You nice like blazer. that? You know, I've even got these ho 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 socks on. Oh yeah, socks. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I like those. Yeah. And I got I got to tell you, my wife and I, we are so thrilled. We've got all of our Christmas shopping done, lights up on the house. And I got to tell you one more quick thing. The student council in this really cool reindeer bucket gave me some cookies. That's pretty cool. Do you, you want one? They match my uh Reindeer tie. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Oh, those smell good. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> here, I'd like to give you yeah. these. Whoa, really? Aren't those oh, nice? Thank you. Th that helps Something you get ready for Christmas. Yeah. yeah. Helps you get ready for Christmas too, right? Yeah. Yeah. Right. So, what do you what do you do to get ready for Christmas as pastor and dad? Well, and, there's you know, yeah, planning, preparation. Actually, that's what the season is all about. Hmm. Planning, preparation, uh, Advent season. That's what we've been celebrating for these last you know four weeks and being able to prepare our hearts and our minds. Uh, for the coming, not just of the Christ child, but for the coming of Jesus and his promise at the end as well. So we've light one candle for hope, light one candle for peace, light one candle for joy, light one candle for love. Oh, love. And uh, just in a couple days here, we're going to light that Christ candle as a reminder, once again, on that Advent wreath. And all those candles go out, but that Christ candle keeps burning because the reason for the season. Uh, yeah, um, it seems like you're ready, but uh, in our hearts and in our minds... Uh, making ourselves ready, being able to know that Jesus is making us ready for him to come into this world. But as we celebrate Christmas, there's a lot of preparation and planning, sermons, parties, <laughs> all those kind of different things. Absolutely. Uh, but uh, we're all ready for to be able to give the greatest message, and that is Jesus is with us. I, I get it. I really understand that. But, but when, when can I come and worship? Ah, worship um, is a little unique this year, um, and that is because it is at on a Sunday night, uh, Christmas Eve, December 24th. And so we have 4 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 8 o'clock, and 10 o'clock, four services on that Sunday night, Christmas Eve night, um, and then one on Christmas Day in the morning at 10 o'clock in the morning. And so uh, those five services always going to encounter the great gospel and good news that God is with us. Wow, that really helps me. Thank you. you. You've taught me a lot again. And you know what? Pastor Steve and I just want to say to you, Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas and a Happy, Happy New Year. Year.